hello everyone so today i am going to make another photoshop design i know most of you don't like photoshop designs but i am just trying to do everything to help you guys so in this one it is going to be a little funny design not a regular t-shirt design you see so for this one i am going to use this chest back here you can search like chest back png you will find thousands of images like this they may be copyrighted but we are not going to use them as we are not advertising this product we are making designs from them and of course you can find some images like i showed you before this kind of dog images cat images anything you want in this website and it is free to download you can use them if you just modify them to make a new design so for this one here i am going to again take that exact same artboard size i work of course 300 pixel per inch that is the 300 dpi okay so this is my artboard now i need some images so i am going to use this dog image from my previous video this santa claus hat and this chest bag so because okay the reason i am going to use this santa claus hat is i just want to make like it is a christmas design or you can just simply use it without christmas theme but i am going to target that because that is the next best selling season coming so i am going to making this little quick this is my chest back i just want to place it something like covering the chest area here if someone is wearing this back on his chest it how it is it should look i am just placing it in that kind of size area or maybe a bit lower like this now i am going to erase this background here so you can do it simply by clicking selecting this magic wand tool it is really easy to erase these areas so i am going to i am not going to cover everything in this design because that takes a lot of lots of time so guys this is the rough editing of my design here now i want to bring my dog image here so like this now i am going to make it bigger in size comparing my back size here and i just want to make it look like this dog is someone is carrying this dog inside this bag and wearing this bag on his chest so this is the kind of design you will see on online facebook advertisement you can you may have seen lots of design like this like placing dog images inside pocket area so this is the kind of design it is going to be now i need to place this dog behind my bag here so once it is placed i am going to erase some of the parts like this area i don't want that area so like this just maybe now i need to erase this part this handle part of the bag because this should be on the back side of a man who is wearing this bag so i cannot keep it here okay guys so that area is removed now i am going to make some adjustment here like i want to move this a little sideways like this now this can be the final design for me because this will this is only this is already looking good because this is a common kind of funny designs you will find on dog niche so you can just make a image with replacing dogs and that will that is how you will have a hundreds of design easily so for this one here this image here i need to place them a little downward like this because i am planning to put a hat on the dog head so that is why it needs to be downwards like this okay so once it is placed like that i'm going to use this santa claus hat but before that it is facing this left side so i'm going to rotate this just a bit so that it doesn't look like that exact same image making it a little bit bigger now at this point we need to 
be very careful because this should look like this dog is wearing this hat otherwise the whole process will be a waste of time so okay first of all i need to opacity i need to decrease the opacity so that i can see the dog head better just like this maybe okay so for this area as you can see this is on top of my back that is good or i can just simply place it behind my back here but i don't want that it is looking good on top here top here so in this area as you can see this is looking like not not looking real because this if he is wearing this hat then this area should be behind the dog head so i'm going to click control and click on this dog thumbnail it will it will select that dog image like this now if i take my eraser tool here just to okay i need to make the opacity hardness zero percent so that i can easily so the erasing looks smooth here just like this okay guys so this is okay for me because i don't want it to erase it completely from this area because this is giving a look like this area is going behind from here so that is good for me i don't want to make any changes anymore now for this one here we need to okay before that we need to make these areas it is a hard cut here we cannot keep that because it is going to be printed on a t-shirt so these areas we can simply erase them just like this so that it looks like smoothly blending with our t-shirt so that is the reason we can simply do this okay so this is now the position of my design we can now simply add a background for it because that will give us an opportunity to see how it will look on black shirts so as you can see guys this is now looking like this and there is a lots of mistakes in our design and this is only visible on black background because these are the free pngs we are taking from internet so this png has got a lot of white areas so we need to fix that because that otherwise it will not look a real image so for that one i am going to share a very simple process to do that there is a thousands of other ways to do it so i am selecting this dog layer here taking my eraser tool just to erase the areas that is visible from this back so i want to remove this white parts but there is a lots of different ways i am going to use my favorite way here just select click on this image here control press control and click on this image here it will make it a make a selection of everything that is inside this dog layer so once it is selected i am going to add a layer mask here okay so you can see this is like the transparency of illustrator so anything if we draw inside in black inside this layer this transparent layer mask area it will it will be invisible and if we just draw anything in white that will be visible so once it is we are in this layer mask option we need to go to select and refine mask so once it is refined we are in refine mask we can see this red area so whatever we will paint in red here that area will be invisible you can select any other options from here but i prefer this red so once you are in this mode this red mode we are we need to use this two option here like this is the add option this is the remove option we can if we just take this one and paint it will it will add some more areas here but if we take this eraser option and paint here it will remove those white areas from my design sorry guys actually we need to add this area because this is not a image cut out from a background there was no background so we need to add these areas into our red zone these white areas in our red zone so for that i am going to make it a little bit smaller in size and then if we draw like this it will 
add that red zone inside our image and that will remove the white part from our from our image here that is the png we take from internet so this is the easiest way of masking difficult areas in photoshop and there is a thousands of other ways you can search youtube to find your own whichever you like you can work with that option okay so i don't want to waste too much time here for doing this so that is looking good for me i'm just going to press okay okay guys as you can see this is looking better than before this area is blending with my background here so we can do this in like very precise way spend some more time to make it realistic or we can simply do like this and this as you can see this area here i don't want this to be visible because that should be behind this hat so i'm going to take my brush tool here when my foreground color is black i can simply paint over here so when i am painting here it is being invisible but it is not erasing so i can always work back on there so like this one here i am making it a bit bigger hardness completely 0% and that is how we are just making this blend more with our background so that is good for me in this point and uh, of course we can do that same with this bag here i'm going to do that but in offline okay guys so as you can see i have removed everything that has a little white inside our design so now this is looking very good and professional because this let this small details makes a design professional or non-professional now this is not going to help you guys who is working on fiber or upwork because i don't know your client is going to give you an order to make this kind of designs or not but yeah this is the kind of this is the kind of designs you will find people promoting on facebook so that's why i make this one okay so for this one here i need to just show you how it will look on original designs so for that i am going to turn off my this black background here to save is save this one as a complete png file so as this is a 300 dpi design so it is good for printing okay so this one is done now I, I am going to upload that design on a website this is motif i don't work here or they are really not that much good like red bubble but yeah that is there is good or there is some benefit that they give a lots of profit like 10 to 15 dollar per t-shirt design so you can use that but the problem is they don't have any free traffic you have to drive traffic from your own so okay so it is not yet saved because this is a lots of work in there okay guys so this is my final design i am going to upload this one here now to be honest i am really not promoting any website i don't give a shit about what website gives you profit or not i am not a marketer so i don't have any traffic of my own so i use like websites like the public red bubble they have their own websites so if you have a website if you can drive traffic by facebook instagram pinterest you can use motif they are just easy to upload designs and make a campaign so that's why i am sharing this with you you can see i have a website here i made two sales and i get like 25 dollar from that to sell that is the highest amount i have ever get from on sale like on this spring or red bubble so as you can see this is our design is looking like this so we can just edit we can just see how it is looking actually or we can replace or place our designs like this so guys this is the final design that is this is the look it is going to be if we turn on the preview here you can see this is how 
it will look on a printed t-shirt so it is blending this black is blending with this t-shirt here but that is not the matter here it will look good when you will see it first time like someone wearing like this you can choose the model option here okay you can see this is the real look of this t-shirt is going to be so i think this is looking really good not at least not bad from all this try so thank you guys for watching this this is the final design i hope you learned something new from this one and always keep practicing keep praying for me thank you everyone see you in the next video